Okay. Outflow performance now. Okay. Outflow performance. Open the tubing performance curve. So the out, outflow performance, we select tubing performance curve. Okay. Open this one. Now we need to input the table, the data table inside this one. Okay, so you can follow me. For the manifold pressure, we have four manifold pressure. Manifold pressure or well head pressure, 500, 3000. You can check your spreadsheet, okay? So this is the, the, the input from data we can you get the data from the spreadsheet and then 5000 and then 6000 so this is the wellhead pressure for the wgr water gas ratio we assume there is no water so zero no condensate no cgr no condensate gas ratio so zero and then for the gas rate and the FBHP, the flowing bottom hole pressure data, you can copy the spreadsheet. So I will do from my side, we go first to the Excel. Okay, I will copy this gas rate. And then I will copy this flowing bottom hole pressure. This is the, for me, the flowing bottom hole pressure if the wellhead pressure is 500. This is for FBHP for wellhead pressure of 3000. This is for 5000. This is for 6000. So you can copy it yourself. Okay, we go back to the embal. Okay, I will copy my data. Copy, right click, paste table. All right. This one copy. Paste table. This one copy. Paste table. Oh, very difficult. I will copy like this one. Okay, so like this one. So again, the water gas ratio zero, water gas or condensate gas ratio zero. Oh, this is not right, actually. I will copy it first. Clear table. Yeah, this is quite troublesome, actually, for the embal. Right. Like this one. This is for 500. Okay. This is for 500. Water gas ratio zero. Condensate gas ratio zero. Now we go to this one. 3000 okay 3000 wgr zeros condensate gas ratio zero now we need to input the second column 3000 okay so you will do like this one okay you check the plot so you have the vlp for 500 and for 3000 okay and again for the 5,000. Okay. Copy the column from 5,000. Paste it here. 5,000. Plot. Okay. Finish. And lastly, for the 6,000. Copy. Paste. This is for 6,000. Okay. Plot. All right. So this is what you will get. I have IPR and I have VLP. Okay. So the model for the forecasting for the production prediction, the model, the EMBAL will get it, will do the forecasting by using IPR and VLP, of course. Okay, so this is very, very important. Finish. But you will, you can also get the this data 
if you have done the prosper. So if you have done the prosper, you can create VLP and then you can import. All right, you can import the VLP from the prosper data or the from prosper file, like this one. But this is for another case. Okay, you can just import and you can have the data automatically. Okay, plot like this one. So we have completed this section. Okay, but I will also go to this one. Okay, please wait for a while. I will check something first. All right, now we can also put something here in calculate. Okay, so in inflow performance, you can plot again. 